there she is. I gotta put a strap on that muffler I put on there. It's too hanging down too far. It's like redneck rampage. Look at that thing. Hopefully it won't act up, but it's also a smoke test. I want to see just how smoky that engine gets, like we did the video yesterday. Uh, I want to see if that's new smoke or if that's old accumulated oil that's smoking. So enjoy a driving video. Got the original keys too for this truck, which is nice. So windows down because the AC is questionable to say the least. That's a starter solenoid. That's a new video coming soon. I have no gas gauge, so I have no idea what this, uh, what the level is. Hey, you may even see me run out of gas. Who the hell knows? Anything's possible. So let me get this thing on the road, get my belt belted up, and you can come along for a ride. Maybe even a breakdown. We'll see. Let's see how bad we can piss the wife off, right? Hopefully not. here so I don't want to get stuck. There's no four-wheel drive on this thing. There's enough gas to get to the gas station. All right, I'll pick this back up in a minute. Let me be safe. All right, we're back on the open road. So I did notice uh, this truck, once you restart it from stop, like from engine off to engine back on, it does have a little bit of a intermittent, like idle air controls, you know, solenoid issue, like IEC or uh, throttle position sensor issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do and redo the TPS and the IAC on it at the same time. So if you guys wanna see a video on that, let me know. Um, parts are fairly inexpensive and those are, that's shit that like, leaves you stranded. So. It's got no problem cruising at highway speed, 55, 60. It does have a pull. You see the wheels cocked to the left, so it definitely needs an alignment. But other than that, smooth running. So let's see if we can make it to the gas station. We have arrived. We made it. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, how thirsty this thing was. Alright, took 11.2 gallons, $28.09, so wasn't that thirsty. <laughs> when you look at that, the fuel gauge does work. <laughs> it's full now. Awesome. All right, well, I guess it uh, was pretty low. That's always a good sign when the uh, fuel gauge actually works. So, uh, yeah, let's see if she makes it home. This will be its farthest trip yet. Let's see how it sounds kind of dodgy, like, uh, like real low idle. That's definitely a throttle position sensor. Let me pop this hood real quick. Quiet motor. Not as smoky. Yeah, there's our uh, our TPS right there. IAC. It's running good though. It's not bad. Let's 
said, it's not as bad as it was yesterday. So I'm wondering if the more I drive this thing, the less smoke it's going to be because so much was cleaned. I would think, though, it would all be burned off definitely by now. So I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a 2.9. We all know what that means. It's gonna need heads eventually. There's your smoke right there. See, so without that fan blowing it out, of course, naturally, it's gonna rise. So let's get underneath it, see if we can see any accumulation. See, what's interesting is, look where it's all coming from. It's that exhaust manifold, which I still, if someone can clear that up for me, I would love to know why it's open like that. I've noticed all these 2.9s have that, and I don't understand why. Is it some sort of breathing apparatus? Does it connect to some sort of exhaust gas recirculation? I have no idea. Turbo manifolds? <laughs> no, I don't know. Seriously though, if you guys know what that is, it looks like that's where all the smoke's coming from. That that opening in the exhaust manifold, nothing looks to be like it's burning off the engine anywhere. Right? That may be crazy, but that's where it looks like it's coming from. Everything else looks pretty clean, nothing's dripping and drabbing everywhere. So the oil leak may have been fixed by doing that valve cover gasket. And that just may be a entirely different issue. Well, I don't know. If you guys know about these engines, definitely uh, comment. I would love to hear it. But good thing about today is that it went and got itself gas without having to fill it up with a gas can. So to me, I'll call that a win. So I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys watching as always. If you've noticed, I've been trying to upload a lot of videos lately, just trying to get the channel kind of going, because there's a lot of content here, so, uh, and a lot of mixed content, so sometimes tool stuff, sometimes truck stuff, sometimes Mustang stuff, sometimes random stuff, so remember to subscribe, comment, and I'll get you in the next video. Later.